I don't This workspace I'm gonna create a directory I'll just call it live stream live stream notes um, and then I'll touch today's date what day is it today uh, 27 1 27 slash 29 notes so I'll add him that guy in I'll remove this guy this guy, bring this guy out into the front. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I'll just take some notes as I go along. So later on you guys could, I could kind of do like meeting notes a little bit, but basically in this article, um, uh, what, what this guy goes through is this whole idea of like the ideas are like the currency of life. So he's like really big on like creating new ideas and, uh, like yada yada yada. He's all about like the ideas. Um, where's my thumbnail? Um, but anyways, yeah. So he he also he basically has this idea that um, like what if you like what if you could write like ten ideas every day, um, and it basically builds like a muscle. Right of some sort, and it's actually really, really, really difficult to do. Like, if you ever tried writing ten ideas a day, it's like in any subject, it's actually really hard. I've I've done this before when I was kind of like uh, getting into programming and I wanted to try to build apps, and I was like thinking of ten new app ideas every day. Uh, most of them were terrible, but the whole concept is that you want to like kind of just write ten ideas down every day, and it will like build up your like momentum right like your idea of i mean your um, idea generation potential essentially um so you guys could take a look at this article if you guys want but like basically that's kind of what i'm planning to build like something of that nature that's what i'm planning to build uh let's see mm. one second I just wanted to check something. All right, well, but yeah, so that's kind of what I'm building today. Mm, so this will be just like kind of my notes that I'll be taking, but I wanted to start filling out uh, my backlog. So I created this like kind of Trello board. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know what Trello is, it's just like, um, it's basically just a way to do agile like very easily you just have like columns of like um, uh, basically you have columns and you you have to have you just fill in cards to each of these areas right so um, it looks like someone's watching but basically I'm creating this app and the first step I like to do is I start like I really like to like plan things out um, for those of you guys who are watching, basically, if you guys have any questions, jot them down. And as I'm kind of like working on my own project, I'll answer them if I see them. Uh, but yeah, so um, so this whole idea muscle thing, the first thing I need to do is what do I need to do first? So let's let's like add a few cards, right? Um, probably I'll need to like uh, model model the data structures out um, so for any like good um project you the, usually the first thing you like to do is um well actually this is not the first thing the first thing we actually should do is uh define the requirements define the requirements requirements so uh and slash intent i guess so 
you know, whenever you work with like a product person, uh, like the first thing you should always ask them is, hey, like what is the actual intent of the project? Um, like what is the feature set that you're looking for, right? Uh, th that's like a very common question that always comes up during like any kind of new business like feature or whatever, like when you're w working on something. Because the, the thing about programming is that it it's such a, it, the task itself, even to add like a small button somewhere, um, the amount of work it takes is a lot harder than if you were to do that by just uh, stating it or even like designing it like UI wise. Um, programming itself is much more difficult. So that's that. Um, Let's see, define the requirements. Let's also model the, hey, hey, Danny Dan, what's up? What's PZG? <laughs> I think you, I saw you on my Facebook earlier, but basic, uh, if you're joining now, I'm, I'm just kind of building out an app and I'm planning out, uh, I'm planning it like the work that I need to do. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave it on the chat and I'll get to them as I'm building this out. So yeah, let's see. So model the data structures out. So this part is kind of like schema design. Like I wanna design this some, some schema. I mentioned before that I don't wanna do, like I don't wanna think too much about persistence um, because the whole concept of the app is that uh, like the ideas, you're not supposed to really like save the ideas. You're supposed to just, the, the whole point is to do the exercise and then throw the ideas away. Um, if you really like it, then you just remember them and use it later. But um, maybe I'll just build like for MVP and for like uh, for MVP, maybe I'll just build out like the very raw base functionalities with no persistence. And then uh, I don't know, I like if maybe I'll make like a pro version of the app and then um, have users pay for um, essentially using my own AWS accounts essentially, right? Because like, you know, the one, one thing that's like really interesting is that people always go, oh, why why isn't this like software free? But like, but like what, what people need to understand is that like nothing's free. Like even if it's really cheap, like uh, for example, hosting like a Dynamo instance in like AWS is not free. Like all of those cost money. And um, I could do my best to like lower the cost and optimize it as much as possible. Um, but at the end of the day, someone needs to pay those bills. And um, yeah, it, it's kind of it's kind of sucks for uh, like solo developers because a lot of like these companies with a lot of money, they kind of provide large services for free. Um, so what they do is they like build like a large audience, like losing while while losing money. And um, they just go for that growth. And then once they get to the growth, they leverage the uh, user base um, and then like, you know, show ads or whatever, like these kind of things. But it, it takes this like inflection point, like where you have to really spend a lot of money getting users and active users to ever get to that point. But if you're like a solo developer, then that kind of model is not gonna work because you're gonna run out of money before you have, before you can do anything really. So. Anyways, that's like a little sidetrack. So back to like the Trello board, let's not get too um, carried away. I'm just gonna list a few things out. Uh, let's see, determine, tech stack. Um, I have a few ideas I um, for the backend layer if I do. And so the, as I mentioned, I'm gonna use like, I'm going to use React for sure for the front end. Um, I use Angular at work, but I really like React. I used to use React um, before my org changed, but uh, right now I write mostly Angular. But I, every opportunity I get, I write React. Um, I haven't tried Vue. A lot of people say Vue's really good, but you know, it's like I don't really spend time learning new frameworks anymore. Um, I spend most of my time learning patterns and um, like I put my eggs into essentially technology that I feel that um, will be around for at least 10 years or so. Um, and frameworks, they come and go so fast and so often, especially in the JavaScript world that it's, I don't know, it's, it's not really worth like learning deeply because um, I mean, I, I, I kind of take that back too. It's like, yes, you should always learn things more deeply than broadly, but at the same time, you shouldn't be 
like let's say a new framework came out you shouldn't be like jumping to that just because you want to learn a new framework um like for example react i i really like going deep into react because i really like the framework i like the concepts of react i like uh the entire component architecture like i really like react so I, I prefer to go deeply into that i mean angular now is kind of copying i mean they've been kind of copying that whole concept so they're like component based as well and you know react and both angular they both have like um like a single one-way data flow like redux pattern or flux pattern um angular uses ngrx to do that but anyways um for tech stack i want to do uh react um hey guys for uh those of you guys are joining as i mentioned before like if you have any questions just put them on the chat i'll answer them right now i'm kind of building out slash planning out like a project that i want to build out like in front of you guys um yeah it's called idea muscle like you guys could uh, i'll like cut the video later and you guys can see it so right now i'm determining determining the text that i'm gonna use so um i want to use react for the front end um for the back end if i do do it i'll probably do solon uh serverless uh let's see oh i got a question hey soul this is a great idea how would you tackle learning a new framework do you read documentation watch videos so um it really depends um for me, like what I like to do for uh, learning your new frameworks, the first thing I always do is I just read the entire documentation for the main page. So if it's an Angular, I just go to there and I just read the entire documentation. If they have like a tutorial, like a hello world, then I just follow that as well. And after I do that, I will try to dive in and create my own project. So. People say if you can create a to-do app in any framework, then you could pretty much like build everything, pretty much build anything in that framework or language or whatever. So the to-do app is kind of like the hallmark of intros. So that's why you see a lot of to-do apps. And um, the reason for that is because it has all of the CRUD oper like operations, so like data management, and like it also has like some kind of interesting state management as well. So that's, that's kind of why uh, you do that. So, and after I do that, if I still feel like I don't know enough, then maybe I'll watch like a video on uh, front end masters, uh, if it's like a front end framework, or I have a subscription to like uh, Safari online through my work. So I, I'll like either grab a book or like find some other additional documentations. But I always like try to stick with just the original like documentation provided by the developers themselves. So I hope that answers your question. Um, yeah, so for backend, I'll probably use like serverless as my main like just API layer. I really like serverless. Um, I've been liking it more and more. There's a few issues with serverless, like the warm start issue. I mean, the cold start issue. Um, but I really like serverless because like as a, like a single developer, um, and also I have to pay my own AWS bills. Um, Lambda is really cheap, like really, really cheap rather than like uh, spinning up my own EC2 like instances. It's like super cheap to do serverless because serverless you do, it's a, a compute as a service. So the only time it like charges you is per compute. So let's, uh, let's say someone hits your API, um, it will only charge you like a very, very small amount for that one compute it's 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 actually ridiculous how cheap it is and so another thing is that it scales automatically for you so you don't have to worry about any kind of like like vertical scaling issues it, it scales horizontally so you know that serverless um like lambda essentially um you could like guarantee that it's gonna uh, like scale with like doesn't matter how many users you have. Also, you can make it like active active very easily by deploying like to east and west to anywhere else very easily. So that's why I really like serverless and um, it helps. It's, I don't know, I, I just, I've been making everything these days. I just make everything through serverless. It's just kind of my jam. Um, there's also another thing um, my friend was telling me about. Um, so for user management, AWS actually has a system. I forgot what it was called. Let me let me quickly check. Um, AWS user management. I think it's called uh, not I am Cognito. Yeah. So I want to use AWS Cognito. 
So this is um, user, so this Cognito is really cool. So what Cognito does is, um, uh, from my understanding, because I've never actually used it, but what Cognito, AWS Cognito is, is essentially, you know, you know how like uh, the first thing you usually do at like a hackathon, which you shouldn't, by the way, is like build the user login page and like a sign up. Um, don't do that, by the way, at hackathons because no one really cares about that. But basically what AWS Cognito is, that functionality, like sign up and auth and like tokenization, like those kind of things as a service. So uh, from what I know about it, you just set up a few a API endpoints and then you have user, like you, you basically just have users, right? Um, for backend, I think Dynamo is fine for this. DynamoDB is fine for this. Um, if I want to go kind of cool, there's also like, uh, if you guys don't know what Dynamo is, Dynamo is like a NoSQL uh, database, very similar to Mongo, but it's created by AWS. Um, if you haven't guessed, I'm like really big on cloud technology. Um, if I were to like put my money on where the future is going to go, like in terms of like what... Let's say that you want to learn, like, what's the number one thing you should learn in 2019? I would say AWS, like, it, like hands down, cloud is here to stay. And, um, you know, like right now the trend is like, everyone should learn like machine learning, you know, go learn machine learning. Um, while I think learning the concepts of machine learning and understanding like the limitations and what machine learning and like artificial intelligence can do is great. Um, one thing that people don't understand is that you only the very very top percentage of like PhD students who specialize in machine learning and artificial intelligence they're gonna most most likely at like large companies it's gonna be that, that like group of students um, or like PhD like I guess they're students right like just basically those professionals who really they're at like the cusp of technology they're the ones who are going to be touching the models and actually doing the machine learning and like artificial intelligence portions of it um now if you're like a data engineer or something like that you maybe do like you'll work with them to do the implementations but i i personally don't think there'll be enough like machine learning like jobs for just every engineer right so unless you really love it, like I, I and, and you really want to go like dive deep into that and get like a PhD in it, I, I think um, it's not really worth investing your time into really like trying to be a machine learning engineer. Um, with that said, like uh, I, I think it's totally like awesome to learn it if you want to learn it and you could do a lot of cool things. From it i personally haven't dived that deep into it so i may be eating my words maybe one day when i like um like learn it but you know i'll be happy to be proven wrong right because it's just another technology that um like i get to learn and you know you know it's it's like i always like to like min max kind of what i want to learn and how, how that will help me in my career etc um, and right now, I think if you learn AWS and like cloud technology in general, it's so marketable. Um, I got my AWS cert last year. And as soon as I did that, like immediately 20% like more, uh, I was like contacted like 20% more by like LinkedIn recruiters, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, it's like, it's insane. Maybe I'll make a video one day about like some of the like LinkedIn, like, recruiter email I get but yeah it's it's kind of crazy anyways yeah I might use DynamoDB there's also like maybe I'll do I don't think I'll need it for this project but uh, there's something called AppSync uh, which is um, kind of AWS's like graph graph GraphQL implementation um, but I heard like I just want to use it because it's like interesting but uh, most likely I'll probably just use this to do most of my to, I, I, just using this, I could do like everything that I need to do. But you know, like this would be post it. Uh, I'll probably do this like post MVP. Uh, same with this. Uh, yeah. Uh, even this. So uh, my initial MVP is like I just want to make a React app for uh, mainly because this is I'm doing this in stream, but I want to make a React app where it. It's essentially this whole like 
like idea muscle like like app so the, basically if i were to like draw out the ui at all it would be like just like a screen and then it'll have like a text box and then you just enter 10 ideas uh, for that day so it'll be just like per day um and uh it'll like just like time you maybe i don't know uh but yeah that's probably a good idea design out out uh, um wireframes or yeah design out the wireframes that's kind of a weird weird way of saying it um let's see define the requirements model the data structures i'll determine the tech stack I, I feel like i already did this so i'm gonna put it as done um so whip is like work in process uh let's see what else do i need to do not much right um i guess i guess since i know what the tech is i could like fill in some of the cards so uh so obviously i need to do so i probably so set up set up boilerplate redux folder so I don't know like some some these days I've, I've been hearing a lot that like redux is like a little overkill for a lot of projects and then you could just use API context which is uh, something that was part of the experimental like uh, thing like to do like state management um, in react but now I heard uh, API context is a first-class citizen so I, I should probably look into that, but like Redux, I don't know. I, I, I know Redux, so um, it's just annoying that I have to set up the boilerplate every time, but that's all. Um, I'm gonna just like break it down into what I know I think I'll probably need to do. So, um, dashboard, not dashboard, um, look, uh, set up routing. Set up um, React Router. So every time I do, like, I haven't done enough React Router where I need to, like, I could just do it by heart. Um, so I always need to, like, look at the implementation. So I might have to look at the implementation and, like, kind of solve it. Let's see, what else is there? Mm, one quick second. Um, let's see, I think I want to, oh yeah, yeah, create a uh, GitHub repo. So I don't know if you guys heard about, uh, this, but, uh, Microsoft just made like, you know, Microsoft bought GitHub like last year, I think. And they just made the first move they did was make, um, uh, GitHub private free for three users, which is really cool. All right, cool. Anthony D, I uh, just wanted to thank you for valuable information. Counting student that fell in love with programming and watch your videos when I couldn't find a path. Since then, I had various hacks and secured a position as a data scientist. That's that's really awesome. Uh, congratulations, man. Like that's 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 really cool. I want to like screenshot that. Sorry, <laughs> it's it's actually really cool. Like that's like the whole reason why I, like kind of started all of this. Like. I don't know like it's it's really something to whenever I get those emails and stuff like that you know I get a lot of emails about people like saying like thanks and things like that and I don't get a chance to reply to everyone but man it's uh, but this is kind of the reason these are like these stories are the reasons why I do this because I remember when I was in that situation where I I, I really wanted to be an engineer and I remember it was like really like every every time like someone would reach out back to me or help me i remember just being so like touched um and like grateful so but yeah keep up the great work anthony you know data scientist that's cool all right so yeah i want to create a github pro yeah uh you know what? i'll just like i'll just like quickly do some of these real quick um so i'm just gonna put it on whip uh github Let's see. Um, I'll just create a new repo. I'll call it idea 
idea muscle let's see i'll make i'll just make it public mm. so i usually just do mit if i don't care about the project but yeah so having a git ignore is pretty good um do they have a node yes so what what git ignore is since we were literally the only person who has on the all untraditional pass and only side can't thank you enough. Yeah, there it's yeah. Doing it untraditional is um it was not like easy, but it was it was definitely worth it, you know. And and I kind of fell into it, so I'm not really special or anything. But yeah. Thanks for the comment. So yeah, I'm just creating a um repository here. And I'll just clone it real quick, grab that. Um, one thing cool is uh, I've hotkeyed, so if you see my screen, I've hotkeyed the uh, like command tilde to show my terminal uh, on and off. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, maybe one day I can show you like my, my keys, but um, I guess I'll just, I, I usually have like a, my, so my directory structure, maybe I'll show you guys. Um, I, I in my root I always create like a works like a workspace right here. Um, this is just something I did since the bootcamp. And then here I just like have random products. So, oops, what the where's work, works? Bro? Um, but yeah. So here I have that. So this is a new laptop, by the way. So. If, if I don't have something, it'd be good to show you guys all this stuff. Um, but yeah, and uh, if, if you guys like wonder how I'm like snapping like my screens, stuff like that, I use a plugin or it, it's called Spectacle. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I like rebound the top left and then the top right because in Chrome, when you make like a bunch of tabs, like you, if you want to switch from like back and forth, it's an option and command, and by default, uh, the spectacle, the spectacle like left half and right half is the same. So that's the only thing I change in that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna close this, uh, and in here, I probably, actually, this this was pretty stupid. Um, I might have to, because I. So my plan is to use the create React project. So. There's a lot of good boilerplates out there, but I don't know. This this one's like really easy to use, so that's what I that's what I that's what I do. That's what I use. Let's see. Create React app. So I don't know why it's MPX. I'm not really sure what MPX is. If you guys know, let me know. MPX. So this is why I might have to actually like RMRF the. Uh, idea muscle director and then create react dev and then idea muscle because i think it creates it in this directory and then it creates the directory idea muscle right after it so i'll probably do that yeah um this is one thing bad about live coding right because like you guys have to watch me npm install stuff um, maybe I could like answer more questions. So ask me more questions. Uh, there's at least like, there's four of you guys. So, <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So I, I, I set up the GitHub bureau. I'm done with that. I'm setting, I'm also going to set up, um, initial project. Uh, I, I really like this whole, like, like I feel like I'm doing work when I do this, so <laughs> that's why I do it. Mm. So also like ask me like let me know what kind of question like videos you guys want to see from me. So right now I've been just doing like um, some technical video about like interviews, uh, interview questions and lead code, and then I've been doing like kind of a um, I don't know like a like dev journal like kind of thing where I just talk about like programming and like these kind of random things, but um, yeah, let me know.
Uh, side project. I mean, technically, YouTube is my side project right now. Um, but before YouTube, pretty much, I I, I always make side projects. Um, a lot of times I, yeah, I I code pretty much every day. Um, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like work for me, like to be honest, because like I I love it. Um, yeah, I I pretty much work on it constantly. But actually, um, ever since I had like the baby, I've been I, I actually haven't been like doing it as as often. Like I say every day, but like if you think about it, like um, my my time is literally when I he wakes up at like seven thirty, so that's when I wake up, um, and then uh, he goes to bed at um, what's what is it like eight? So my time is like literally right after that. But I also spend like an hour with my wife, like hanging out just the two of us not with the baby because you know it's not really hanging out um so it's literally that and I, i'm trying to sleep at like 12 as part of my new new year's resolution so i don't get to do that much coding every day but i'm always like either working on youtube or working on some side project um but like that's kind of why i made youtube my side project because i always like i, I like to do a lot of things um but it's just like I, I couldn't do site like code fully coding because I always wanted to do make YouTube. So that's why I'm kind of combining both, right? Um, and I'm also working on, uh, I, I haven't told anyone, you, but I'm working on like a full class, um, like an entire course set so that, it, you know, you know, cause it's, it's something that I feel like it's, it's in a different format than YouTube. So uh, once, it will be like six months before I'm even close to finishing that, but anyways. Interview questions, interview questions related videos are super helpful. Let's think of place of those. Cool. So I, Raj, I, I actually do have a place list. It's called like Soul Encoded Lead Code Questions. But yeah, you, um, it started with Hacker Rank, but I switched over to Lead Code. So uh, let me double check. So looks like I have my Idea Muscle project started. It has like the all of my package JSONs and stuff. The only thing is get remote. So I don't have a get remote here, which is fine. Um, so if you guys ever did this like and made a mistake, you need to force push your git remote. But the thing is, I, uh, I feel like this is pretty useful. Yeah. So here I'm just grabbing the raw here and then I'm going to um, touch the git ignore and then uh, I'll put that there. That was pretty useful too. Hmm. It's okay. This is no. Let me just add it here. This is probably not the best way to do it. This is not too important. So what Git ignore is it? Um, uh, basically, Git will track any file that is in that directory. But if you put it on Git ignore, it won't track that. So some some fol folders you really don't want to keep track of, right? So uh, so after I do that, I don't think I have Git right. Um, they, uh, add git, git ignore, git ignore file. It will attempt to run commands from install CLIs first, but fail back to install and install them. Huh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Thanks. That's the thing about like JavaScript, like. Um, so it's like literally impossible to know every single thing ever um, and I, I talked about this in like a video before where um, someone asked me if I still have like imposter syndrome and I don't really have imposter syndrome anymore um, mainly it happens when um, I, I feel like imposter syndrome happens when you feel like you don't know enough right to these things but if you accept the fact that it's impossible to know everything and then you are honest about the questions that you ask 
then um, it's okay because it's literally impossible to know anything. So that's why I don't really feel imposter syndrome anymore. And also I've led enough projects at work and led them to like a successful result that um, yeah, I, I feel pretty confident in what I do now. So get remote add, what is it, origin. So here I need to like probably force push, get um, uh, status, let me just start. get push origin that force, right. get push origin master that force. So the reason I had to force there is because I created a new repo and then, uh, yeah, so uh, basically the git history up, up above was like old, right? So down here, let's go back up here. Uh, okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all of this readme, right? Because I don't want those readme's there. Um, this is my awesome idea muscle project. All caps, baby. Um, yeah, so. Let me do an npm install here. Actually, uh, one thing I like to do is um, npm install that such for those. I like to do this because it makes me feel like a super engineer because you can see all these like texts like scrolling down. But um, uh, I, I, actually, the real the real reason I do this is because it will you can see like everything that it's like downloading and where the npm like um, what is it org. Uh, uh, not work. What am I? What's wrong with me today? Need more water. Um, registry. So, um, if you work at a corporate, like a large corporation, you don't use the public registry. You use something called Artifactory. Um, so JS Frog is a company. Let me see, let me show you guys. JS, not Grog. J. JS Frog. Also, it's actually really hot in here because I have this like huge light over there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. Sorry, sorry for blinding you guys. But I have this huge light and it's really hot. But if I don't do that, I look really shitty. So, um, yeah, anyways. So here's JS Frog. You guys can read about it. Um, most of you guys won't probably have to deal with this. Uh, but yeah, it's Artifactory is basically where you could uh, put like all of your npm packages or pip modules or java maybe like all these like modules like cocoa pods or whatever you have you can put them separately so this is a way to uh, prevent like security issues like a lot sometimes like people like a lot of companies like use open source products right so they will not version lock um anything if, if they don't version lock things and don't keep a good eye on their um like get like uh, npm modules then like people could like add insecure things to the npm modules and then you know it, it will suck for the companies because they won't even realize that so that's why they uh like usually they won't do things like this um this little carrot right here this carrot means that anything above like any minor version i believe any minor version above um you're okay you just download it so you're not actually downloading 16.7 you're downloading like 16 point whatever the highest major version is so that's why you usually companies they will either like do that so that you're downloading the specific version or they'll put it in artifactory so that um, it actually requires an engineer to look at what the release notes were and then push those changes to artifactory so some minor thing for you guys to know so npm start so i just installed it so i could probably just npm start it um, for those of you guys who are joining, I'm basically doing some dev work. Um, I said this a couple of times already, but I'm, I'm basically doing some dev work, uh, building a uh, building out a React app called Idea Muscle. It's based on uh, this concept that if you idea ideas are like the modern day currency, so you have to like exercise that like idea creation muscle. So I I'll post all the descriptions about it, and like later you guys could go back, but. Uh, I'm gonna create like a React app for it live for you guys, and um, feel free to like ask me any questions on the chat, and I'll like answer them as I go back and forth. 
um, as to the best of my ability. So, oh, hey Junie. So um, I'm actually creating, my friend Junie's here, but basically uh, my, I am actually, he, he's actually in my next video. Not in it, but I talk about him in my next video. Uh, so let's see. So I did MPM start. What that means is I, I have now this boilerplate project running in my local, which is pretty cool. Um, that's the one thing that I really like about like web dev is that the feedback loop is super quick. Like, especially with like hot reloading and all this kind of stuff. It's, I don't know, I, I really love it. Let's see, all right. So I have that going. Let's take a look at my Trello board. Uh, do I wanna set up Redux right now? No, I don't wanna set it up just right now. Um, Let's see, should I just make a few? I should probably like quickly like sketch it out or something, right? I should do, uh, I, I finished this task, so that's great. So design out wireframe. So I'm gonna do this next. Um, if you guys have any ideas on what I should, like what kind of feature set you guys wanna see, <laughs> like put it in the comments. Um, maybe I'll consider it, but uh, do I have Photoshop here? No, I don't. Mm. What? Wait. Dang it! I don't. I don't have Photoshop. You know what? I'm just gonna use. Is there any good tools out there for design whiteboard time? Yeah. If you guys want to give me like one second, maybe I'll grab a whiteboard. Um, I am not prepared for this. You know what? There's gotta be a paint tool like by default that Apple has. Um, where is it? Du, du, du. All right, let's see. Online paint editor. Luna pick. No, not this. It's bad. It was a bad idea. Bad. Uh, mini paint. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's do this. All right. Can you guys see? All right. Great. I wish I had a mouse too, but um, gotta use my trackpad. <laughs> I'm really not prepared for this. So okay, the, the the whole point of this is just to like get a sense of what I want to do, right? So it's not that big a deal. Um. Let's see. What about we do draw IO. Draw that IO if you're making simple flowcharts. Oh no, can't show you show you guys that stuff. Um, I, I'm just drawing out like some UI designs right now, so I'm just gonna use this. But thanks for the suggestions. Um, all right. No, there's there's got to be a better 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 tool. Jeez, this thing. All right, boom. Okay, so I'm gonna have um, this will be this will be my like just text box, um, and then here I'll do like um, some kind of placeholder here or type your ideas here. This this thing is so terrible. <laughs> it's okay. We're having fun, right? So that's fun. Uh, and then maybe as you type uh, your ideas, like little uh, like little boxes like pop down on the bottom, like so. These will be like your ideas. Uh, maybe I'll have like some some kind of like like zero out of zero out of like 10 kind of thing like some kind of tracker at the top here or something like that um also why don't we like do some kind of category category so maybe we'll have like a service that generates categories that's that might that might be pretty cool so for for those of you guys who are joining the the idea oh, okay i give up okay so this is my amazing 
UI design. This is pretty simple, right? Okay, all right, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna, all right, where, where, did, I, where did I, um, where did I put this? Right, it's probably in my downloads, which is like here. Um, where is it? It's right. Is it? Ah, oh, man. Okay. Hold on. Nope. Where is it? Dang it. It should be here. Date modified today. How's the music, by the way? I, I have like music playing in the background. I don't hear it. Um, but it's like this like free music that I have, is it too loud or too too soft? Showing off your download folder life. And yeah, it's super dangerous. I just, you, I, I gotta like, I need, um, I need another like window where um, <laughs> it's like the, the secret, like not safe for live stream, like, like area. But right now it's like, I'm, I'm like going off at the seat of my pants right now. So <laughs> this is pretty dangerous. All right, let's see. Uh, what was I doing? Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't download anything inappropriate. Gee. See, I really love New Javis. I'm. I'm glad you mentioned the mentioned them. I. I love New Javis. I'm so, and I'm so sad that he passed away like a few years ago. Oh, that's my OBS software. All right, whatever. You guys got the you guys got the idea, right? It's actually not static. It's actually um, so I have this mic right here, but my MacBook is um, USB C, and I don't have a like a converter, and this is USB. So that will get fixed eventually. <laughs> so I share this with you. Right, so I'm drinking some. Um, Whiskey. My my sister just got just gave birth yesterday, and uh, yeah, it's the it's the fan on the MacBook. It's pretty terrible. Um, I love MacBooks, but the small MacBooks is is, is the freaking fan. Uh, it's it's partially because I'm running OBS and all the stuff, but anyways, I hope you guys could bear it. If not, I, I guess I'll stop streaming. <laughs> um, let's see, what was I doing? Uh, I'm just gonna lay out some of these components, I guess. I don't know. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, so this is React. I don't have any, like, I don't dev on this device yet. Um, so nothing's like really set up. So I'll probably like stop and install stuff every now and then here and there. Um, so yeah, so let's like create like a dashboard component. Let's create some directories here. <laughs> Maybe I'll like increase the um, increase the music sound. But yeah, for uh, the new like ten people or so who is watching now, feel free to like ask any questions on the chat, and then I'll answer them. Right now, I'm just building some stuff out. So uh, let's. Do dashboard. Um, no, I, I'm making some folders. I'll name it components. Components. That's a folder, right? Yeah. And okay, actions. Users. Um. So there's this like concept of containers. Um, I don't. This this project's like kind of small. I don't. I don't really care about that. Um. Dashboard component. So in here, be like a dashboard.jsx. I think I could just do JS actually. Yeah, and dashboard.css. Maybe I'll just install SAS real quick. Yeah, right, maybe I'll do SAS. I'll name it. Maybe I'll install SAS real quick. Yeah, so SAS is just like. Um, another way of doing CSS but you could do like variables and um, it's more a little bit makes CSS a little bit more bearable to write um, but, uh, I 
think it's SCSS. Sorry. Well, actually, SCSS and SAS is pretty similar. I think I'm looking for SCSS. Though. Add it to React. So one thing about these kind of things where like it's kind of infra that you're doing. Um, these kind of infra work that you, you do. What, why is this? Okay. You don't do this too often when you're working, right? So you, you end up having to look it up a lot. Um, unless you're like my friend Junie who like memorizes everything. Um, so I think process um not really no one no one really cares that you don't have a CS degree um it's it's really comes down to like like in terms of like leadership it really really comes down to uh do you are you do you care about the people that you're working with enough that um they they like earn your respect and all that kind of stuff like um, are you doing it in a way where you're not like telling them what to do like but you're like kind of like guiding them to learning new things um so that's like one part of it um, and the other thing is that like because i i don't feel like i It's like because I don't really feel like I don't know I don't I don't not it's kind of a, I'm, I'm like struggling to say this but basically um, the people that I work with I don't feel like they're like amazingly better engineers than I am I feel like we're all pretty good at our jobs so that that really helps and um, I work with these people for so long that like um, I've been in enough meetings I've been in enough like positions and projects where my ideas and like thoughts were valuable um so that I, I don't really feel like i i got any of these kind of like people saying like looking down on me because i don't have a cs degree um it also helps that i there's other co-workers that are in a similar position um like i we we had another guy he's from hack reactor um and the, this other person she's self-taught and she like worked at apple but like most of the time in like large like organizations people don't really care as long as you could deliver on your work people don't really care um so yeah but like you know like it, one thing that really helps get over like these humps is studying your data structures and algorithms because even like cs grads they don't they forget their data structures and algorithms but if you uh, like have that clearly in your mind all the time and you speak uh, through code with that kind of understanding and that kind of like um, basically with that like understanding and you always point that kind of things out then like automatically um, they won't even think about like the fact that you don't have a CS degree you know because in, in the end like degrees don't really matter it, it's really what you know and like um, if you don't know something like how can you figure it out or like say like get past it get past that like not knowing portion like really quickly so ah, this whiskey this whiskey is making me even more hot okay so looks like I just do that and then is that it let's see oh and I just have to rename Rename all my files to CSS. 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 Oops. But yeah, like if you ever feel like um, people look down on you because you have, you don't have a CS degree, like. Um, that's kind of just silly like uh, my friend Juni I don't know if he's still here but um, he is he's a self-taught developer too and he's the best engineer I know um, and that's including like people that I met from like Stanford and like the top school universities and you know so it's 
like if if I wanted to work with anyone, it would be him and my other friend Andrew. So it's yeah. But you, you know, not to knock like CS grads or anything. It, it it really doesn't matter. I met people who were like terrible CS students, uh, like CS grads that were terrible at work, and then I met people who were like really good at their job, and it turns out they were just you know self-taught or something. Uh, what did I do wrong? It's actually really hard. It's actually really hard to talk and program at the same time. So <laughs> that, um, I might, in the future, I might do like a Pomodoro thing where I like code straight for 30 minutes and not say anything and then look at comments for like five minutes. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Uh, for now, I'll just I'll just do this. Um, let's see. What, are, what am I missing? App CSS. No files such as App CSS. So. What? Oh, I didn't. I just didn't say. It makes us CSS. I just didn't say. It. All right. So it looks like it fixed it. So I have SAS now instead of um, SCSS. I mean CSS. It's CSS. All right. Import React from React. Um, So I always like wonder if I should do like um, uh, dash for uh, just grad from a Bay Area bootcamp and starting to search while trying to improve algo screen. Videos to inspire again when burned out after 70 plus organ. Dude, man, um, I don't know how to say your name. Atha Athalia. <laughs> I'm sorry I butchered your name, but dude. Congrats on uh, getting through the bootcamp. I I'm doing a story on um, like my bootcamp experience, not next week, but the following week. But yeah, it's if, if you need um, if you need a referral or if you want to meet up for coffee or anything, just hit me up um, on LinkedIn. I could I could help in whatever way I can. So yeah, just ping me a message. But keep that keep that grind. Um, from what is it react.component I haven't wrote like react in so long so I might have to look up some of the syntax Ta -da. but basically I know it's like render uh, hello I think it's just that like small part there's like a couple ways to import it here. Let's see if I can find it. Um, oh. I think. Okay, so I was just missing that. But I feel like. Uh, um, let's see. Basically, I'm just creating like a, a dummy, a dummy app right now. Oh, I like this syntax more. Let me grab that. Oops. Ta -da. It's also really hard to code in this small screen real estate. At work, I have like a bunch of laptop. Like I have like two big screens. <laughs> so. But yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm creating like a dummy like uh, dashboard. And I'm gonna put all my code into this, right? So I'm exporting this guy out as dashboard, and in in this app component right here, I'm going to grab it. Oh, I'm getting some messages. Sorry, this is kind of rude, but oh. sure. Right. <coughs> Import dashboard from. So I probably did components slash dashboard. Probably the dashboard, right? Let me just double check. Dashboard, dashboard. So if I do like index.js here, like this, like that, then I don't need to do, um, I don't need to do this last dashboard, but I, I kind of prefer doing this. Um, only because when I do fuzzy search, 
fuzzy search, like later when I have a bunch of index files, it like this will just be like index, index, index. So I kind of optimize for the fuzzy search, but um, it's up to you guys. So one one thing that most people don't appreciate, not appreciate, is that it's actually really hard live coding. Um, there's this like sense of like judgment that you get from and then you get like really nervous and stuff like that and that's that's why like when you go to like an interview um it's actually really hard because you don't they're like judging your code and you're gonna, like writing in a whiteboard it's, it's like pretty terrible experience um let's see what did i what did i mess up okay. uh render no i didn't mess up there Your random message. Oh, return. Oh yeah. Duh. Dude. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of these tabs. It's like four spaces. I think uh, I should probably fix that later. Ooh, we got hello world in our dashboard. So, um, let's just name it class name equals. Um, Dashboard, it's probably let's take idea muscle dashboard. Um, do I want to do dashes? Sure, why not? Mm, hello world dashboard. All right, one line at the end. Right. So I have these like empty empty files. This. Service workers, really? So the dashboard is just gonna be my like wrapper, and then um, this is essentially my container. Um, in the Redux pattern, you have like one top level component um, that has like that's like the entry point to all of your state. So everything else should technically ideally be like dumb components and all of the state management happens in the Redux store. Um, so like, what? Did I misspell it? B-A or... B-A or... I'm, I'm like dyslexic. <laughs> did I? I can't tell. Did I misspell it? Did I misspell it? Where did I misspell it? Dashboard. Did you intend that dashboard to be misspelled? Oh, class name? Okay, let me see. No, I did not. Thank you for catching that. See, this is actually the good part of um, programming with uh, people watching you because this is like um, pair programming at <laughs> at the most extreme, right? So I expect no bugs in this code. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for catching that. So, okay. Let's see, what to do next? What to do next? Um, so I want like, basically I want like a search bar here, somewhere here. So I'll probably need like a search bar component of some sort. Let's see. Um, search bar. Uh, do I want to do it that way? Camel case. Man, this this is this. Yeah. Okay. No. So this is like kind of like Python, Python esque. I usually uh, name my uh, cl like functions like this, search bar, like that. But I already named my dashboard not like that. You know what? I wasn't thinking when I did this. I, I gotta, I gotta. Read it. Sorry. And then these files should be dashboard. What is this? Ooh. Dashboard, dashboard, dashboard. App. Bonus dashboard dashboard. Oh, it automatically fixed everything for me. That's pretty cool. 
So you, I used to be like an Atom guy, but then recently I switched to VS Code and I'm pretty happy about it. Atom wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, my friend Junior would be happy. He likes the IntelliJ like family. So I want like a search bar here. So I'll probably do like a search bar there. So actually this is not a search bar. What am I, what am I talking? It's, it's more like um, input bar, I guess. Um, I'm gonna name it composer. So the the hardest thing in programming is like naming stuff, like literally naming stuff. Um, and I, I always spend at least like a few minutes longer than I sh should. But I kind of think you should really be careful about like how you name certain things. Because when, you, when the project gets really, really big, um, all of that, becomes tech debt. So, and naming things is like really hard. Like um, if you name things properly to begin with, then um, that's like almost self-documenting your code. So it's really good to like, you know, just don't do like willy nilly like name stuff. Um, think about it, you know, think like even this, like idea muscle dashboard, I could have probably just done this, right? Um, but doing idea muscle dashboard is a little bit better because it, you know you have less chance of like collision, right? Uh, and it's and it's more descriptive too. So yeah. So Apple Apple is pretty big on like being very verbose with their being very verbose with their like um, naming and things like that. But yeah. Anyways, always name stuff X Manager as a place to learn and fix it before coming. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, naming, so you're right. Naming is so hard. I found out it was easier to figure it out on paper, set it in my head. Yeah, naming is hard, but you know what? Like um, people who read your, like, so, so the way I think about programming in general is that I'm optimizing my code for um, the people who are gonna review my code. It's not for the computer. The computer is gonna be able to read it whether I write this code like, like this, it's gonna it's gonna know it like all like if I nested this into one line and that's what happens when you like minify your code right but um you don't want to do that for people reading your code right so that's like that's a terrible practice to do um, anyway so I'll probably need some composer there and then I'll need uh, where was I so I, I'll need like a composer here and then I'll need like uh, the card card list here and the individual cards could go in there. So, something super simple like that. Do I want a nav bar? What, what would I be navving from? I think, I think I'll make this into like a Chrome extension. So it doesn't make sense to have a nav bar. Maybe I'll have like some stuff. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I'm gonna make this like as a Chrome extension. So yeah, I'll just do, I'll just focus on the composer and then the card list, so. Or idea card list, I guess. Ha ha ha. Um, idea card list, and then idea card. Um. All right. So the dashboard is there. So let's work on the composer here. So I haven't made any of this. So I'm kind of doing this like as I go. So I may spend some time on YouTube. I mean, not on YouTube, on Google, looking up how to do stuff every now and then. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I forgot, do I just name it like style that, no. Composer.scss. I'm not, I'm actually not a fan of naming these things at caps. I don't know why. I think it's a React thing, right? React folder structure. This is another thing I, I kind of like, you know, you don't really think about this too often when you have a project already. Yeah, see, it's all caps, but inside it's not. Group by features or routing. Okay, so these are like different ways to group things. Components, all these files are caps, yeah. <laughs> don't overthink it, <laughs> lol. <laughs> No, you gotta overthink it. This is like, this is important. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, 
uh, programming. Okay, whatever. I will listen to the great Facebook um, people's advice um, and not overthink it too much. So let's see. How do I do? How do I do? Just like a dumb component. Is it like that? No. Const. Uh, what do I call this? Composer. Why is it doing that? Uh, export default const prop new hard drive partition for every component. Oh. <laughs> That's so troll. <laughs> Wait, am I doing this wrong? I think there's like an implicit return here too if I really wanted to do it. I need to I definitely need to configure this like VS Code thing because like uh, some of these like auto highlighting thing is not really doing it for me. Mm. Functional components. I just need to see the functional component signature. Function. Here it is. Const is it because I'm doing this? Const composer support default. Composer. So this is pretty cool. You could do an implicit return here, I think. You could do that. But I don't like it. That's ugly. Uh, I, I actually really like having the word return. I don't know. I just I just like that it's split. Like it's one less thing that I need to like remember in my head when I read the code. So um all right, class name equals mm, idea muscle composer. How do I import the style? So it's just like this. Composer.css. Is that it? Do I do that? I think so. Let's just double check the app. JS. Yep. Oh, I'm so smart. All right. God, it's so hard programming in this tiny, tiny thing, guys. You, you, you guys have no idea. The things I do for stream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so we'll probably need like some input here. Let's see. Placeholder. Um, enter your, your awesome idea here. Uh, so I'm uh, importing the composer component that I just made. Probably back up to composer slash composer. Just down here, composer here. Uh, did it work? Oh. I'm a noob. Forgot this. Hey, how you doing? So I got that going. So I'll probably need some kind of on-click thing there. I'll do that a little bit later. Um, so my plan is I'm gonna probably create like some kind of like some handler here, like input handler or something. Over here, um, like so. I, I gotta remember like the exact, like, I think I need to do it in the constructor like here. I don't know if I need to do this. I think I will need to do this from like passing that props. So I need to do like this dot input handler. Dot find. Okay, so I need to equals this dot input handler dot find this. So 
if you guys need me to explain this, I, I could do that in another video. But it's basically how this works, depending on the context of who called it. Um, I think this is like event. Uh, you got prevent. What is it? Prevent. Tar what is it? Event dot target. Uh, event dot prevent default. I don't know. Oh yeah, I, 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 my plan eventually is to pass this guy to like, um, like input handler or something like that, right? Um, so, do something like that in the future. So, this is what I think I'll probably need to do. So, yeah, I think I need to do this. Prevent default. All right. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for the help, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of like trying to remember all the syntax off the top of my head. So uh, I probably don't need to. But anyways, mm, what was I doing? I'm just kind of laying out the skeleton work right now. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of like do some double checks and think about what I'm going to do before I actually do it. Um, let's see. So yeah, let's let's do let's do the composer real quick. Let's see. Mm, I could probably de deconstruct this to input handler. I'm gonna put it on the all click. Um, actually, wait. Property has to be on click. Uh, I could do that. I could do it on click, or I could also do it on on value on change as well, right? But let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this is. Da, 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 da. Um, man, why is this giving me so many spaces here? It's crazy, man. It's driving me crazy. I'm usually, I think I, I usually do, um, uh, what's, what's the word? I usually do like two spaces instead of four spaces. And it's like, it really bothering me. Da, 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 da. Do I usually do that? Yeah. On change. It's pretty fun. Um, I haven't coded in React in, in like a few time, a few days. So um, on change input handler on the dashboard. I think it's like event that value, but let me just see. Props is not defined. Oh. Can I pass stuff down again? Composer, input handler, I'm passing a function down here. Is this just input handler? Yeah. This is so slow. One second. I need to double check how to pass props down. Da -da. Mm -mm -mm. Props, props, props. Should be pretty sh straightforward. Props, props are author. Mm. Hold on. It's I think it's in your constructor for the dashboard the props is missing in your constructor. Like so. Okay. Good catch. 
Hit catch. Okay, expected an assignment of function call and instead saw expression no unused. Line 20 of the dashboard. So. Um, let's see. Give me one second. Let me. Okay, so that works. So it's definitely that line. Um, input handlers here. Good catch, Junior, by the way. Uh, input handlers here. Um, and then anonymous function, I'm passing this guy into the composer. And then the input handlers here. Um, I guess I could do props back here. I think this is right. Const, this was right earlier. Uh, props. Handler, I think. Uh, let me, let me, actually, I, I don't know what this is. Let me see. What is that? Hmm. Oh, let me try that. Really? Sometimes it like calls it though. Yeah, that was it. See, this is this is what I'm saying. Juni's not even a uh, JavaScript engineer. He's an Android guy. Whew. All right, prevent default is not a thing. Okay, great. Mm. Let's see what's in my. Hello, hi, the ukulele Nicole. <laughs> So here, I need to prevent the default. Default prevented, it's already prevented. So is it like uh, target.value, right? Let's see. So Nicole, if you have any questions, you can leave it on chat. Right now, I'm just uh, working on an app in front of everyone, which is kind of a scary thing to do. Let's see. React uh, input grab value. E dot target dot value. I'm pretty sure it was that. Event dot target dot value. Yeah. Let's try that. Hey, there it is. Okay. So here. Ah. So I think it's okay to have like a state here, right? I don't really want to set up Redux unless I absolutely have to right now. There's like no, there's no need to really. There's a pattern right here too. So I get the initial state, that would be the input value. And then I have that function on the on change essentially. And then I set state to the input value. So. It's not, it's not terrible to do. Yeah. Woo. <coughs> I hope you guys are drinking with me too. Um, but yeah. So I probably shouldn't be drinking while I'm coding live in front of everyone, but that's just how things are going to be from this, from here on. So let me quickly double check. Uh, how do I do the state? State, this dot state, no. I think I could just do state equals like that. I forget. So this is like the initial input value. value and then I can just say this dot state dot um, like this dot set state um, this dot input oh yeah, that's it. Um, dot input value yeah grab this guy and it's the input value, right? 
like this. Whew. That whiskey is hitting me <laughs> a little bit. Ooh, okay, okay. I don't know if I need to set this. I probably should. Um, actually, do I need? Do I even need to set the state? I don't think I need to set the state. Let me think about it. So, basically, what I need to do now is, um, what I need to do. So what I need to do is like, I have this thing that's like just running, right? <clears throat> Let me um, log this event dot target dot value. So I have this state, I basically have this guy, this input value. And then uh, when I type in, I have like basically what I'm typing in, right? And the only time I wanna save this like, like state is when I hit enter or like, Submit so I probably need like a submit button or so so I'll add that to the composer <clears throat> And this could be submit uh, actually um, I'll just put it in a, in a button for now This this thing's really bugging me the, the entire Is spacing maybe I could maybe I could fix it but basically when I do that I want to have like an on click event that actually submits the yeah it needs to it needs to do a few things right it needs to submit whatever I have right now and it needs to cl clear my input so I guess I do need to I might actually need to uh, I mean we'll see so Anyways, this submit button, when I type in an idea, when I hit submit, it needs to save this, whatever that's in, whatever is in that state, create it, and then clear this guy. So that's, I think if I, if I just finish that for today, I think it would be good enough. Um, I'll fill in these guys later when I'm a little bit more, like, clear-minded. <laughs> So, for those of you guys who are just joining, I, I've been doing, I've been saying this every now and then, just so that everyone knows what I'm doing. As people are going, coming in and out, I created a Trello board here, and I'm going through like creating like a project in front of you guys um, live. It's called Idea Muscle, um, but basically, yeah, I'm just making an app. Uh, so you could also ask me questions on the chat, and I'll answer them while I'm going through it. So let's see here. Let's add another called like handle submit, I guess. And then this could take. Hmm, what, what should I do with this? So a few things here that needs to do is clear the input value. Clear the input value. Um, clear the input value. It also need to create um, create a card, right? So in order for me to do that, I'll probably need like a card. So usually, like the state that you see here, I usually put this in like a Redux like store. But for now, I'm just gonna put it into the state. And then maybe I'll refactor it later if I if I need to. So, because this is like a session-based app where um, whatever session you're in right now, it's not going to manage any persistence for now. I think I'll probably make this entire app without having like a, a strong persistence layer, and then I'll like add it in afterwards. So let's just say let's just call it like idea list list. This could be an array. Um, idea list is empty so the idea here will be that I whatever is in like this dot state dot uh, input value I could just um, 
the like idea list dot push, right? So that would that would create the card essentially, and then obviously down here, I need to do something like, um, I guess I need to do, man, I'm like. I should probably do a better job explaining what I'm doing instead of just like doing these things. So, um, what I'm what I'm thinking about doing is essentially right here. I'm gonna create like a ternary expression where I check the idea list length, and if it's greater than one, I will render the card list. If not, um, I mean, I, I guess I could just render the idea card list even without having that ternary. Um, and then just like do the check inside the idea list where it says uh, the list is empty if it's the length of this idea list is zero. Um, I'll, I'll have like a ternary there that says hey it's it's like zero. Um, I mean it the list is empty. But as soon as I like hit enter, then the list will populate instead of that text. So um, let me quickly create that list component here. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this. Because I don't feel like writing everything out again. Uh, okay, right here, and then anywhere that says composer, I'm gonna do idea card list. Except for this part it needs to be uh, idea card list. And I don't think I need to add the idea muscle part right here. Um, and then I'll just get rid of all of this, and then. <sighs> copy the wrong actually no this is fun and then here I'll, I'll just say idea list so essentially the idea list will get populated here and then I'll have a ternary that says um, list length so one thing is I believe in, in JavaScript this expression right here if it's zero it will be false which is kind of weird but if it's greater than one then it will be true so here I would have to um, display cards essentially. I just say cards. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna test it as like, and then no cards, right? Here. Length, yeah, no cards. I'm just gonna put strings for now so I can test it. Oh, this is bothering me. Uh, oh, that too. This is pretty fun though. Um, live coding is kind of scary, but at the same time, it's not terrible. Um, yeah, it's 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 one of those things where like, when if if I if I like run into like a super crazy bug out of nowhere and I'm like staring at it, like it would be really hard to debug and look at chat and like like try to talk through my like thoughts constantly. Like it's it's really hard to do. Um, okay, that this is easy. This is just syntax mistakes. Um, let's see. Can't resolve. Okay, I can't resolve it because I didn't create it because I copy pasted it. Um, okay, great. All right. Okay, and then I just need to put it out. Um, the question is, do I put another div around it? Mm, I probably will need it, but for now, I, I have an idea list. Do -do. Da -da. Um, what was I gonna put? Yeah, it's the uh, idea list, right? A list equals. This dot idea list. Well, actually, it's this dot state dot idea list. Is it what? This dot state dot idea list. This dot state idea list equals idea list dot length. Mm -hmm. That seems right. Mm -hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Line 35, this dot state dot idea list 
this.state.idealist. Let me try something. Dashboard. And now we properly list of the null. But it's not null. There's a. Yeah, it's, it's an array. Hmm. Well, obviously now, like, there's a length here. This should work, right? <laughs> no, nothing's rendering. This is empty. I don't think so. Is that supposed to be like hmm? I don't know what's going on. Idea list versus idea dot list. Why would it be idea dot list? In your handle submit, you're pushing the idea dot list. And what? Hey, honey. Good. Nice. I'm um, programming. I have a live uh, craft. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Do you need help with oh okay i'll be right back guys to help my wife with something real quick. Mm. What is this? Uh, length of undefined. So idea list dot length. Oh, this I No, wait, no, I... I should have brought it out here. I should have came out. So this should be fine. Um, idealist, const props. I'm destructuring that there. Uh, idealist dashboard. This dot idealist. Idealist. Oh, look that. Idealist. So many idea lists, right? Props, props, idea list, idea list uh, length. Uh, cannot read property of length of undefined. Hmm. Can it be undefined? what I get for not using React in a while. Mm. Idea car list is passing a prop called idea list. So 
I'm destructuring that from here. Mm, let me log this. It's basically saying this ideal list is undefined. But why? Yeah, it is undefined. Mm, that's strange. Am I passing it incorrectly? Mm, no. It's the same. Let me double check how I'm passing. So I don't think this matters. Yeah, that doesn't matter at all. Um, I think. But I am creating it. See, right here. In the constructor, the state. The idea list. It's right there. I, I don't know if it's this, because this that idea list would be in the assumption that it would be outside, right? It would be like idea list here, like this that idea list, right? Then that that would be that. So I think I do need to do this dot state dot idea list. But that was giving me issues before where it says the idea list is null. But um yeah, that's what I was trying to do. But it's saying that the idea list is null, which is interesting. So instead of destructuring it, let me just try to, let me log these props. So let's see what that's doing. Idea list. I think I'm, I'm just like straight up not passing it correctly or something. This dot state dot idea list is this no? Like, let, let me double check the docs. I haven't I haven't like done enough reacting a little bit, so I forget the exact autonomy of a React component. Mm -hmm. State is no. The states right here. I must I must be setting the React component like I I don't think this is like this is probably not right. Um, that's probably what it is. Let me see. let me just double check. Set a const. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're so smart. There it is. Woo! I love it. Pair programming at its finest. <laughs> All right. Great. So this should work, right? And now I could properly see this. This is what I mean. Like it's all these things. Every now and then, like when you're programming by yourself, it's easier to think. But when you're programming with others, like you like. Uh, okay, anyways, no cards. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> DVC magic, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pair programming is pretty good. Like, there's times when it's good, there's times when it sucks. Um, but when it works, it's, you know, it's pretty awesome. So, handle submit. So did I, add, am I passing this down? It's also like I haven't wrote React in such a long time that it's it's good to like do this i used to be able to just like write everything instantly without doing anything but i am no longer that way maybe after all these if i keep doing this like weekly i, I could um get really really good again do, do, do. component was never used uh, i think i could just do Get rid of those warnings. I'll need a card. Da -da. I miss Pivotal. You know, um, there's a company called Pivotal Labs. I think they do 100% um, pair programming. I, I don't think I could do 100% pair programming because there's times when I need to just like 
I, I mean, I do the best, my best work probably when I just zone in and like really focus on a problem. But I do like pair programming in a sense that it's very social. You always learn something new. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, there's a lot of good aspects of pair programming. So, but yeah, um, at my work, we we do like 20% like pair programming, I will say. Oh, shit. I'll probably have to handle a state where it's like, no. Uh, idea of undefined. Okay. Well, it looks like it's doing something. So let's go back to this. Uh, handle submit. Uh, where are you? Alright, so here I'm passing something, right? I need to prevent this default. Prevent uh, event dot target dot prevent. I don't know, where is it? Just prevent default. This dot state dot. Oh yeah, and this is an idea. This, this is a thing that Junior was saying earlier. It's probably bothering him like super, super crazy. He's like, John, idea list in the handle submit. Look at the handle submit, John, John. <laughs> uh, I was probably like, ah, uh, ignore you. Yeah, Rod's like. Yeah, sometimes just zoning in is, is really, really worth it. Let's see. Um, so prevent the front worked. All right. You still at work? Really? <laughs> Idea list is undefined. Okay. This dot. This is the stop state. It's not, oh, okay, so I can't push. Obviously, I can't just push this right um, because this is uh, the state. <laughs> okay. Um, I think to do this properly, I need to do like a set state. This dot like set state, like so, and then I think I need to do like idea list equals like some new list, right? New list. Um, and I could make the new list here. I guess it would be... I also need to bind the handler to... Oh, good call. I'll do that now. Okay. Uh, new list will be this dot state dot id list and then just push event just got state dot input value here like so All right this work this not state dot new list yay Also long. Let me also just pass the. Uh... Actually, I'm passing the idea list already. So here is. Okay, wait, this is, uh... So here I will do this. So one thing about React that. I like and dislike is this ternaries. Mm, sometimes I feel like it's kind of ugly, but sometimes I'm like, oh, it's, it's, it's not bad. You know? So I, here I want to make my idea cards. I know a lot of people like really dislike ternaries though. Same with like JSX. People, a lot of people really don't like JSX. Um, it, I think it's like the that's it's it's like one of those it's like the concept that you don't want to keep your JavaScript and you, you want to keep your JavaScript and your markup separate, which I understand. But I also really like the fact that you keeping all of your logic and like uh, all of your like component like everything you need in a component in like one little area. 
and it's easier to like, I don't know. I just, I just like to see all my code in the, like JavaScript and my markup in that one area. Um, it's like, and it forces you to make smaller components, which is like good. Uh, but yeah. Um, anyways, so right now what I'm gonna do is uh, I've verified that I'm able to add stuff into my stack. I mean my um, my card list. Uh, so now I want to display them, right? Da, da, da. So to do that, I need to create idea cards, essentially. Uh, let's see, const idea card, anonymous function, pass some props down, and then I just have to return uh, pass name. <laughs> um, idea card. idea card. I know for this, I need to probably. I think I need to put like a key. And like, do it. I think I need to pass in like an IDX of some sort. Uh, or give it'll give me like a warning. I think I forgot. Like, if I do that, I think I get the IDX. Or like the index maybe maybe not but I know that when you're iterating over like an like an object you need to have like a key with it or it will complain that you can't do that at least I at least that's what I remember I need to yeah get rid of that there you go so if you guys ever wonder how I do, how I do this is um, basically I open quick times and then um, I float this over but I've been trying real hard not to go like this because then it shows what I'm doing. But yeah, man, I need to get better at streaming. <laughs> it's definitely not my not my jam for now. Uh, instead of passing props, I think I'm just gonna pass the the, the text here. Uh -huh. That's bothering me. So in the idea card. And for now, just to be very simple, I'll just do that. Okay. So, close some of these stuff, open the dashboard. Oh, sorry, open the idea list. Dump, dump. And here I want to import uh, idea card. Card. I'm gonna bring that guy down. Okay, and in here I want to pass in. Well, actually, what I need to do here is idea this dot map. Let me see if I remember the. Uh, what should I call it? Idea. And then here I need to card and then I guess ah, now I gotta do idea. Dang it. What's the syntax? Uh I need to bit yeah, I need to do this, but I need to pass the idea. Hmm, I think it's this. Yeah, that's that's it. But I need to change this guy to idea. Ba, 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 ba. Later on, I'll probably make this into an object of some some sorts, and then I'll like here I'll do like idea dot text or something like that. Because there'll probably be more metadata associated to this idea, but for now I'm just saying saying that for to make it kind of easier. Um, this right here. Oh, so I'm glad you asked. Uh, I, I I answered it a few times before, but basically there's this article uh, from this guy named James Altucher. Oh, I have an error. Uh, so he created this app. He create. He has this concept of 
an idea machine. So the modern, the modern day like idea,、uh, modern day currency of life is ideas. So it's like、uh, I'm building, I'm taking this idea where to train. What he does is to train his idea, like making like muscle. Every day he writes ten ideas and then he just like throws them away, right? But if he like, like. If you actually try to do this in practice, is actually really hard to do. Like even I remember trying this a couple times, like where I was trying to make like new app ideas. Like it's really hard to do. Like come up with like the last like eight, you know, eight or nine or ten idea. So my app is basically gonna be.、Um, there's gonna be an input, and then you write like ten ideas, <clears throat> and then you just throw it away. And then that's like the first part MVP. And then the second part, I'll probably add like a persistence persistence layer to it, where you could like favorite your ideas or like look at your best ideas, or I don't know some some something like that, and also add, like tie it to like a user and then build like ship it as a Chrome extension.、Um, so okay, so this is a pretty easy, pretty easy,、hmm, pretty easy bug. I just forgot to import React. React from React. Da da. All right. Da, what? Idea not this. Okay. Gosh. Yeah. So I, I'm. One of the rules that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Do one commit. This is like me just like thinking about this right now. But I think I'm just I'm just gonna do one commit and associate that entire commit to the live stream. So by the time I finish building this project, if someone wants to actually see how someone goes about building an entire project from scratch, they could follow the commit history and、uh, link it to the live feed. I think that might be cool.、Um, you know, just a thought. It might be like too much work. So. Um, I will edit this portion out if I end up not doing it. But yeah. Hey. Okay. So something's happening, but it's not doing exactly what I wanted to do.、Uh, oh, I know why. It's because I do it the opposite way. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, see, it's that whole like warning. Each array needs a unique prop. Okay, I need to Google React、uh, keyless IDX. <laughs> Pass. The way I Google stuff is is pretty funny. I kind of like think of random keywords in my mind, and then Google is so smart enough to just do it for me. <laughs>、uh, I, th I think I do this actually. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I guess. I guess. Da -da, da -da. Okay. All right. Great. Great. Don't complain. I I I just did that. Each child in the array. Oh, is it because it's supposed to be on this? Back. No. Why is it back? I thought I had to put it on this div, but maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Index. Does it have to be index? All right. Let me try.、It. Index.
are not valid as React child object keys and ideas. Let me just, let me actually look up just the docs for that. Good call though. Mm -hmm. um, not keys. Index as a prop. Okay, like this. Okay, and then down here. All right, what I do this? A key here, like that. Let me look up the um, uh, React passing index uh, key index. I'm gonna test yours out and see if it works before I Google the solution. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> All right, um, okay, here it is. No need to edit anything in Idea Card. Okay. All right. Boom. Right, let's try that again. No. Nope. It needs a key somewhere. <laughs> it's okay. It's one of those things where it's like, um, you know, when you're when you're like doing the these kind of projects in like the real world, there's so much like reference code that you actually, you know, you, a lot of times you could just see see it because it, it's always the hardest when you do it like the first time, right? So you need to do this, okay, so key and index. So here's the index, so that part, uh, one second, let me take a look at this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Index as key. Index. Here it is. It is key. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it is. It is key. So I need to pass index as index. So down here, index, and then I need to say that is the key. Key like so. I also read that this is an anti pattern to do. I think it was key index. Yeah. So the question is, do I put it on this, where, uh, the child component, or on the the initial, like right here? Mm, let me try this, and if it doesn't work, I'll try the on the parent. That didn't work. Um, so maybe it's just that. I thought I did this already. Not a, are not valid as React child object idea keys with idea. If you meant to render a collection of child using an array instead, I think it was parent nothing in child. Okay. Yep. Uh, no one's involved. Okay. Oh, no, that's this is fine, right? I'm I'm doing an implicit return here, so that should be fine, right? Okay. Dip, dip. Let me just find the code example. Um. Uh, render list items react. It's always good to like check uh, uh, example. What is idea? Idea is um, it's basically that concept of idea machine, right? So like one, it will be like a card of ideas. Uh, let me just double check this. Okay. Hello, colors. If you guys have any questions, 
feel free to spam the chat. Be free to answer some questions. So let's see. Um, here's the map. Key. See, see, this guy does IDX. Could be IDX. Mm. Yeah, and then he returns key. I'm doing it properly. Well, obviously, I need to pass this. And then I need to pass this. <sighs> yeah, they, like, I'm pretty sure it's this. Like, pretty sure it's this. This has to be it. So here, so for those of you guys who are joining now, I'm basically mapping over this guy and then I'm rendering this. I'm doing like an implicit return here. So I'm just looking at some code samples. Okay, let me, let me read each child in an array or iterator should have a unique key, which it does. Check the render method of idea card list. Keys, idea, index. If you meant to render the collection of the child, use an array instead. What can it be? Hmm. Turn the div idea class name key the index. Let me try some things here. So passing. No, this will crash right before. Here's the idea and here's the index. Looking at that, please share plunker. What is idea list pops being passed? So the idea list, pa oh, okay, I can show you. So it's an array, idea list. So it's this.state.idealist. And on the handle submit, so I have this input right here. So this input handler, every time I type something, it grabs the value on change on the composer right here on the change it grabs the value and on the dashboard if I'm jumping around I'm sorry it's, it's kind of just the way I code um, and on the dashboard yeah basically when I hit that submit button it prevents the default and then it sets the new state to this idea list uh, okay so actually it might be a good idea to double check this idea list state dot idea list and before i get too far let me just do that oh that's the problem my this is not supposed to be oh wait no why is there, how did I even how, how did I even have that beta so yeah it, it, it seems like it's adding it fine just fine all my items so that's fine so the next part is I'm basically passing that idea list down so in the idea list contain um, component which is right here oh did I did I miss something idea list idea list where I'm kind of like this look, just like a second. Hmm? Hmm? Where did I misspell it? Don't, I don't think so. Uh, is it this? Okay, um, I think I'm just making like a simple mistake 
here. It's probably uh, something like really simple. So one thing I like to do when uh, I make simple mistakes like this is I like to verify like kind of like my basic understanding of things. So what, I, what I'm going to do right now is instead of trying to rendering that component with my dynamic content, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just render the idea directly here, like, like that. Um, maybe, maybe it'll still complain and give me the same idea, same, same, same problems. Doesn't look like it. So now it's like rendering it, right? So I know for a fact, based on this, it's my idea and all my variables up to this point, idealist, is fine, it's still correct. Um, so the thing that I need to do next is kind of redo that whole concept. <clears throat> da -da. All right, so I'm back to here and here I knew that passing idea was working passing oh is this it look idea idea muscle wait no. sorry mm, idea 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 card so here I'm passing idea and then the idea index so down here in the idea cards I'm passing idea and then the idea index so instead of the key why don't I I mean I I, I could do that I could do that but mm. I mean, this, this will probably work. No, it doesn't. Each child in an array iterator shall be unique key. Check the render method. Right, let me let me try doing something like, like, like that. I, I must be doing something that's like really, really, really dumb somewhere. Um, Let's see. Let me just double check. Mm, it could be in the map part. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can try that. If you guys hear a little buzzing, it's my MacBook um, saying hi. Line 15. Mm, no. What have I done? <laughs> Thanks for trying. I'm I'm a little confused too. This this should work. I hmm. see. Like if I did this, this would work, All right? If I did that, because then this div would be block. Um. So, so this thing is still giving me that issue each child so if I did like key 
Let's index. See now, now it works, right? The thing is, there's no reason why this, like, this is the same thing as this, right? Am I wrong? <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Um, yeah. It's literally the same. What am I? What am I doing wrong? Okay, so I'm gonna like, pass name. Well, I, I mean, I had it like this before. It's still not working. Maybe I can't pass like the word index. Maybe I can't. I can't. I don't know, I should be able to. All right, I'm gonna try try this one more time where I do like this and then I'm gonna do idea equals idea and then index equals index. So this should meet. Also I'm gonna do return. Oh, is it not like that? Um, map returns, so I don't need to return. Yes, and it's the input, it's implicit. And then the idea is right there, index is right there. This was the same thing before. Get rid of the idea entirely. Why? Hmm? Why? Oh, you're saying just do that? This is so weird. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is so weird. Is this like a new thing? I'm gonna blame. Um, they they probably changed something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, find out big with idea. If you meant to render a collection, use an array instead. I am using an array, dude. The above error occurred in div component. Uh, um, get a function. You know what? I'm just gonna just do this for now. Because that works, and then I will I will fix that stuff later. I'll do some research online, and then I'll fix it for you guys on the next episode. Because this works. So the the last thing I want to do today, I need to get idea out of props. Let's see, idea card equals props, div props that ideas. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. I think I think you're right. I think I need to do like this, right? If I if I want to do that. If I want to do it like that. Because everything is passed down as props, so you actually you actually have to destructure it. You're right. Man, I'm such a noob now. Yep, there it is. Lol. Yeah. 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 Pair programming at its finest. Well, it's, I don't know, it's, it should be more like 
this like um because you, you don't want to do just you don't want to do um just key just the idea because you could have duplicate ideas right <laughs> you shouldn't um I, I don't need I don't need the index here. I think I could just do it here, right? It's still work. Let's see. All right, cool. All right, next thing is on submit. I need to clear the value. I think that should be pretty easy, right? Let me bring this up. Yeah, but the key is really a prop that should be defined by the parent. True. I want to make sure to avoid setting key on itself. Yes. Uh, very true. I'm going to delete that. And then here, this dot uh, set state. I think all I need to do, uh, actually, I'm already doing it here. So let me also just for input value, input value. Equals that. Thanks, thanks, Yushif Amir. Yeah, sorry, it's so late. I, I, I would like to do it earlier, but it's like my baby sleeps at eight, uh, eight thirty PST. So, um, I'll try to do it earlier, maybe when it gets older. But thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for helping me debug this code. I'll keep doing this. Okay. It's not doing it. Um, it's probably because I'm not setting the initial value. I'm not passing this down to the composer for the initial value. So I probably need to. Let me let me think about this. Um, composer. So placeholder. Yeah, I think if I think there's a value here as well if I did like um, put the value here uh, let me uh, this seems kind of weird excuse me because I'm setting it and also I'm setting the value oh, whatever let me just try it mm -mm -mm. Okay, that works. Okay, cool. Mm. All right, well, looks like I've coded this up handily. Now, I will push this up and you guys can write all the tests for me. <laughs> uh, I should probably add a linter here. It'll probably help me. So yeah, looks like I have a very... So technically I have all of the functionalities here. Probably will change this to a text box rather than an input. But I probably also have to like hook it up so that enter works rather than hitting the submit. I think I could, I could do an on submit uh, to event handler for that. I probably need a refresh button as well. So. Let me add that to the Trello board. Refresh button. Uh, style the dashboard. These are like not very good tickets. <laughs> I'm just filling it out. Uh, I didn't do any of these. Um, initial logic for uh, input card list which I have done today design the wireframes I did that mm. Mm. I'm gonna do that next but it's already 11 I, I have to finish editing that other video that's going out it's it's like an hour long the, the next video I don't know why I made it so freaking long but I 
yeah, it's just, it's, it's a long video, but I... It's basically a story of how I became a software engineer. It's coming out tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to release it tomorrow, so... Uh, hopefully I finish tonight before I sleep. I have like an hour to do do that. But yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this like live stream. Um, I know there were some hiccups. I'm getting used to like the setup and like talking and stuff. And yeah, I'll do a better job next time of getting everyone more involved and all this kind of stuff. So, but yeah, I'm gonna make this like one large commit. I'm gonna try to like date it to. Um, I'm gonna date it as today uh, but um yeah let me let me go ahead and do this separately and i'll push this up and i'll put like the uh, i'll put the details of it on on the stream but yeah i hope you guys enjoy that like quick quick actually not really quick at all uh yes raj i'll give you more vid videos <laughs> uh, i'm trying my best i'm trying to do like three a week but it, it's actually really hard um I'm, I'm grinding as much as I can. I gave up like video games for it, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Yeah, bye. Watch out for this like infinite loop thingy and.